Hi everybody, in this lesson I will talk about how to build your application with native code. Uh, so firstly, I um, open the terminal in macOS and uh, install Watchman. Watchman is a tool by the Facebook to uh, watching chains in your file system. It means when your file changes, uh, the output uh, application will be changed accordingly. So uh, install this uh, very easy. Uh, so next, I uh, need to install minus Z. Z is globally the command line interface for React Native or CRI or the command line interface. It allows you to press command line to uh, start to open uh, the development server and uh, you have to install the Xcode. Uh, here, I use this Xcode uh, with the latest is Xcode 9 and you uh, download the Xcode and uh, uh, install very easy and this is my Xcode I use for this lesson uh, so you have to check in preference and check for common line tune and if you do not install it will uh, automatically require your password to install and uh, then you can uh, create a new project uh, native project and uh, after that you see the output is a uh, uh, introduction about how to use uh, to run in iOS or run in Android so uh, you can run iOS by React Native run iOS okay uh, let's change to the directory tutorial project and uh, clone run iOS and you can find the Xcode and open with the default in iPhone 6 and iOS 11 then uh, it open as uh, a simulator inside the simulator you can see the remote debugger uh, to debug in your browser or in your Chrome browser and uh, you can also search to enable the leave reload leave reload means that when uh, the code is changed, the output will be changed immediately and uh, you open the item for ID uh, using preference and uh, search for Nuclid and you have to install Nuclid to uh, develop your code and uh, this is some of the packages depending on Nuclid you have to install uh, after that you open the project open and inside this you can open the app.js is a main file and inside the main file you can see uh, the text that uh, display to the application and you open uh, the simulator to see uh, this is the text that display in the uh, simulator you can change to hello world for example and save it will automatically update the output it is lever reload okay uh, so it is very uh, convenient when uh, using leave reload because you can uh, see immediately the output when you change code or now you open using Xcode. code uh, this, is, this is another way you can open the Xcode code by open the Xcode code project file and press open then inside Xcode you can see uh, some of the parameter. So first you have to uh, install uh, the upper developer account if you want to uh, run in your Ring device. You uh, check your iOS version and uh, uh, you can uh, select your simulator. So uh, it is very easy. So firstly I use the iPhone 8 Plus and you see the output here and uh, you can set retro and uh, enable leave reload you enable relief reload then now if you change the code in uh, item you can change and uh, after saving it you can change it a little bit to see for example you can uh, modify the test output bbbb for example and uh, you save this file then it 
automatically update it's very easy and uh, another way if you want to use more iPhone uh, and iPad for example I want to use iPhone 8 for example so you check at iPhone 8 and run and stop the previous process then it is iPhone is very nice I like it but do not have money now and set uh, gesture enable relief reload yes and you can also change the code here uh, for example ccc and then you save the file so okay it will automatically update it is very useful when you want to test for multiple screen size and what about the android you can you have to install the android studio uh, this is my version 2.3.3 and SDK manager to install this package uh, this minimum package that needed to run uh, in um, React Native you have to install this and uh, SDK tool you have to install some of this SDK tool emulator uh, under SDK platform okay and press OK and open the project and what is project the project is located here iOS and Android and you have to open the project for Android only so this is the photo for Android so you browser to this folder here it is a photo Android and click to this and then open okay so this is my project and some of uh, files written in Java programming language and open to uh, AVD your virtual device and you can add more virtual device here uh, you click to this uh, select some job of your device and next next and very easy and you have uh, this device and then you start uh, start your device here by click this to start your device and uh, wait a few seconds to reload uh, this uh, PCL, SL, and then it is my main screen of um, Android. And you run the React Native run Android to start the development server. Uh, wait a few seconds to uh, start, and then you come back to Android Studio to run your application and uh, uh, choose your device and OK. Uh, wait a few seconds yes and this is my uh, applications that are run here and check and press you can uh, command m you press command m to uh, show the de development menu so after pressing this and you can press to enable hot reloading is a very important enable hot reloading and then uh, you can click here to uh, modify for example you modify it says and save okay so it will automatically uh, reload on your output to see it's very useful uh, both of an ios and both of android is so very good thank you very much for watching this lesson uh, please subscribe to my channel or um, update the code from uh, github here